demolished. About an hour ago, a meeting wrapped up in Creve Corps where neighbors voiced their concerns about a proposed mixed-use development. It will be built on the former 96-acre Bear Campus on the southwest corner of Olive and Lindbergh. Five Inter Side's Annie Crawl was at tonight's meeting. At this meeting on Monday night, Creve Corps city leaders are potentially deciding how to use millions of dollars in real estate taxes as well as a special sales tax to help developers with this project to turn into apartments, townhomes and retail shops, plus much more by the time they're done. The project comes with a price tag close to $985 million for the Olea Village at the previous Bayer's North American headquarters. Also adding luxury hotels and office buildings may need City Council help to foot the bill. Approving an abatement of $86 million to reduce property tax payments for years with this project to help developers with the cost was on the table. Plus a one cent sales tax proposed by Fireside Financial for up to 25 five years. Representatives from the private equity real estate firm Jack Matthews Development tried to help explain how these steps and recommendations for cost control came about, but some members of the community are still hesitant. So to get to this meeting has taken us 18 months. This plan requires incentives to offset the extraordinary costs and the project can't move forward without it. The problem is uh, it's being presented as let's take what the developers offered or We've got nothing because we have a vacant piece of ground, but it's, this is a prime piece. People would, there were more than one developer. We're trying to get it in the first place and there are other options. After this public hearing, Creve Corps City Council members are expected to discuss and take a final vote on April 8th. Reporting in Creve Corps, Annie Crawl, five on your side.